This video will discuss some common exceptions to the electron configuration rules from general chemistry that we discussed in the previous video. So if we look at the 4s and 5s uh, levels of the periodic table, which are immediately followed by the 3d and 4d subshells, we're going to notice some exceptions to the standard kind of way that we've been ordering our electron configurations thus far. So for potassium, that's argon 4s1. The nucleus has 17 has 19 protons. There are 19 electrons. Calcium is argon 4s2, 20 electrons and protons. Scandium is argon 4s2, 3d1. And then that pattern continues until you get to chromium. At chromium, you have argon 4s1, 3d5. One of the electrons, which was in the 4s shell, has been promoted up to the 3d shell, and that's so that we can have a half-filled 3d shell. There apparently appears to be some kind of energetic preference for having half-filled subshells, which is big enough that it promotes this 4s electron up from being 4s2 to be making a half-filled d subshell. This is repeated again once we get to 3d9, so instead of copper being 4s2, 3d9, the S electron gets promoted up to have a full subshell here and a half filled 4S subshell. So the preference for either half full or all full subshells is very strong and it must be strong enough relative to the difference in energy between 4S and 3D that we get this electron configuration exception. This happens again in the 4D block. Molybdenum is Krypton 5S145. We promote it up a 5s electron into the 4d level to get a half filled 4d subshell and silver is 5s1 4d10 where we promoted up a 5s electron to give a half filled s subshell and a completely filled 4d subshell so those are some exceptions in the d block there are also exceptions for metal ions so apparently 4s and 3d are close enough that if you ionize iron or most, uh, most transition metals, if you ionize them, take away two electrons, you actually lose the S electrons first. So iron 2 plus is not argon 4s2, 3d4. Iron 2 plus is argon 3d6. So that's interesting because we think that the 4s electrons are lower in energy than the 3d electrons, so why should we lose the 4s before the 3d? Now notice here that in all these cases, we have the number of protons and electrons being equal. Here the number of protons and electrons is not equal, so the same trend doesn't necessarily hold. Here we have a higher, a higher nuclear charge. Maybe it's big enough that the, the relative orderings of these energy levels have switched such that now the 4s and the 3d aren't, aren't in this order. Maybe they're in some different order. So notice that it's not the same so the configuration of iron 2 plus is not the same as chromium. It doesn't do that thing. It doesn't film a, form a half-filled subshell or something. And it doesn't, as I said, it doesn't do the same thing as chromium. So this is true basically for most transition metals. So in addition to these gotchas on an exam or a homework set, be on the look for these gotchas that if you have a transition metal ion, you're going to lose those s-block electrons in the valence before you lose the d-block electrons.